I think today that people think that agriculture is just the jobs on the farm and it's not all the other jobs associated with the agribusiness, the marketing, the scientists and other careers that go with it. So a few years ago we were talking at a, one of our officer retreats and decided that we need to educate our school about the other careers that exist out there for students today and plus I think today that students are maybe they don't know exactly what they want to do and they're not really sure and so if we can bring some of these jobs to them help them see different avenues they may take it kind of helps them to see where they can go after they leave Bellevue High School because we want everyone to be successful when they leave Bellevue High School and by being able to show them some of these jobs then they get to kind of see what's out there for them and get them on the right path. Great. Do you have questions? I do a thing in my class where they have to think about all the careers it takes to get that hamburger from the farm to their plate and they think it's just a few people by the time we're done we have like 250 careers listed and that's the hands it takes each and every day that we just don't think of so that's some of the people that we try to get to come here today you notice we don't have a farmer here well if ever you're looking for a job after the first of the year we hire farm sitters to help with the baby horses this is our third year doing our annual ag career day and we figured that a lot of high school students, they don't have the opportunity or the ability to come out and learn about these agriculture careers. As a senior in high school this year, and a lot of seniors that come out to this, you kind of get to know different career paths so you know maybe which way you want to go. Um, and from recent years doing it, you can also see um, how, how it impacts students here at the high school and listening to them talk about, oh, I heard this last year and this is something new, I really enjoyed this. Um, and just to hear that rebound from students is really good. I'm so excited to be at Bellevue High School to talk to all the students, not just the ag students, about the agriculture industry and the jobs that are available. Just about any job you can think of is somehow tied back to the ag industry, but right now there are so many jobs available, whether it's in production agriculture or in biotechnology, um, in marketing. It's just a really exciting time, and I don't think people understand that it's not uh, all cows, plows, and sows. And the reason that we can do what we want, that, that teachers can teach and doctors can treat sick people um, is because we are a country of safe, affordable, abundant food. And if we don't have good food security and an abundant food, we can't do anything else. So the farmers that are producing it and the scientists um, that are making our food and fiber more efficient, we are growing more food today on less land than we ever have before and it's more nutritious than it's ever been before so it's very it's just so exciting and all these all these things that the kids can do and be involved in my job in particular I I tell the story of agriculture so I feel like farmers are it's the best profession there is because they are feeding the world and so my job is to to create their story or to create their brand it's hard when you're 15, 16 years old to think of what your career is going to be about. That's why I wanted to just let them know, you know, it's all these little touches that they feel. Um, for Amy to put together a career fair like this is good because it may not hit them today, but in a couple of weeks or maybe in two years, something will click with them and they're like, oh, I heard about agriculture. And it's not just about blue corduroy jackets or the smelly pigs that are on campus. It is a growing, thriving industry that has so many jobs available and it's important work. Last year, Abel Garcia was Marion County's School Related Employee of the Year and went on to win the same honor at the state level. Friday, a new District Employee of the Year will be named at the annual luncheon hosted by the Public Education Foundation. The week before Thanksgiving, the five finalists were announced during surprise visits to their schools. Mrs. Talapa? Yes. Hi, I'm George Tommen, the Superintendent. You are one of our finalists for School Related Employee of the Year. So, I'm George Tommen, Superintendent. Oh, hi, nice Con to meet you. Congratulations, thank you're one you. of our school related employees oh, of the year finalists. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, thank you. You know, I love that. Hi, Stephanie. Congratulations. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. 
Kelly. Hi. There's all these people in the hallway. I don't understand this. Perhaps it's because you're one of our five finalists for School Related Employee of the Year. Uh, per, could that be the reason? No. Well, hey there. Well, you better stand up and smile because we got a lot of people that want to say hi to you today. Congratulations. Thank you. Good morning, Mrs. Washington. George Tomlin, how do you do? I'm doing great. Congratulations, you are one of our finalists for School Related Employee of the Year. Hey, boys and girls, I want to tell you that Mrs. Washington is a very special person here at Dunellen Elementary, but you already know that, don't you? Congratulations, you're one of our finalists in the School Related Employee of the Year. Oh, wow, well, thank you so much. You're on candid camera. Let's go. Congratulations to you. Thank you. You know this lady. Very thank proud you. of you. Thank you so much. We look forward to celebrating with you at our luncheon on December yes. 2nd. And we'll be there to introduce yes. her and tell everybody a little bit about Miss Moore. So we're very excited and excited to celebrate you. Oh, well, thank you so much. <laughs> start off with the whole deck which is 12 and if you the first part you would probably learn is the three so you grab one and you don't grab it from up top you grab it from right here and you make sure that they're loose so you would go like this and you would set this down and you would like that and then to take it down you would grab the top and you would flip on November 17th 25 fifth grade students from Anthony Elementary School did their part to help break the Guinness World Record for the most people sports stacking at multiple locations in one day. Um, well, Mr. Solomon, I've been here since I was in pre-K and we started cup stacking um, when we were in kindergarten. So Mr. Solomon was just like, there from kindergarten to fifth grade. And I started getting really fast when I was in fourth grade and about the middle of the year and we were racing different people. We have the, um, the competition board thing where you put your hands and when he rings the bell, you start cup stacking. And the goal is to try to beat whoever you're competing against. It makes me real ex really excited because sometimes people don't get a chance to be part of a record. Like, it's just not um, a one day thing where you can just go and start stacking to be in a book or anywhere like on TV for a world record. And it's like, whoa, I'm in a record. <laughs> Last year's record was 618,394 people from all over the world. This year's goal is 625,000 participants. You can visit the website below and see how this year's numbers are stacking up. Recently, Measure Up Marion partnered with the College of Central Florida and Marion Technical College to help improve the lives of citizens in our community. We were awarded a grant from the Centers for Disease Control and we formed a co coalition called Measure Up Marion, which are several partners throughout the community working together. And the part that I'm working on is chronic disease management. So we were charged with bringing together within the three years 18 volunteers to go out into the community to bring this education out there. And I'm proud to say through this collaboration with our partners, we went from 18 to 67. So we have a great force going out in the community to work with residents. We're working on a model called Community Health Workers, and Community Health Workers was set up many years ago, and they found 
found that programs are more successful when it's people in their communities. There's no better folks, I think, than the nursing students we're working with because nursing students, they have that passion to help people naturally and this just makes it stronger. As soon as I reached out to the colleges, they were immediately on board, excited, and we all were just thinking about the things that we can do in the community to help the community as well as help these students get that experience working out with the folks doing the education. So we have a great group of volunteers through these two colleges. Like I said, we have the 67 students who are working with us to get this information out there. We still do have a need. We have a small group of educators that do actual classes. We hold some diabetes classes. We're looking to do some pre-diabetes classes and also some heart disease, stroke prevention classes, blood pressure classes. But we, So we need those folks willing to take that extra step beyond these students, giving the information to actually give classes to put a little more power behind this education and strengthen it. We have a website, measureupmarion.com. We also have a Facebook page, Measure Up Marion. And of course, anybody can contact me through the Florida Department of Health. It's 352-629-0137, extension 2025.